Hello, I'm Curtis Youngblood. Welcome to Radix Facts. Today we're going to be going over setting up the Castle ESC, uh, both running their governor, also running the Total G or ATG governor. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to show you is the basic setup. I'm, I'm actually using my FAI machine on for this explanation. I'm going to show you how I set up the governor on the Total G. The governor is basically the same with the ATG, but presently this is set up on the Total G. I've just got the uh, USB adapter for the Castle hooked up through the throttle lead to the ESC. I've got going to the computer and I'm just looking at my basic settings in the computer. Sorry we're outside so the lighting's not that great. But uh, I've got it in helicopter mode, fixed endpoint. I've got a medium spool up rate and I've got a custom head speed change rate of 20. Uh, auto rotation I do not enable. All the governor mode settings are off because I've got it in fixed endpoint mode. Um, see anything else on brake? Brake I have all that turned off. Cutoffs, I have voltage cut off at 12 volts. I have current limiting disabled. We found that runs a little smoother with that disabled. It's a little dangerous if something happens. You could cause a problem with the system because there's nothing to shut it off if you have a current issue, but it seems to run smoother that way. Um, a lot of times I would usually, I would run it in very, uh, excuse me, insensitive. Uh, that's probably the safest place to run it, but with FAI, I go a little risky and make sure it's the smoothest. I have the cutoff type, which is soft, but I think that's disabled at this point anyways. Uh, Motor, I have motor startup power, medium, motor timing low. Direction is forward on this one just because of the direction I have it plugged in. The PWM rate I have at 16 kilohertz. That's with this particular motor, which is a Scorpion limited edition 520. Um, different motors like different rates, but this one seems to run the smoothest at that rate, but still seems to run cool. Uh, other settings I have the beep turned off, you know, particular reason. Logging, I have it all on, but I really never use the logging. And this version actually has a 3.2 version. There's newer versions, 3.24, which I'm running actually on my 3D machines, which seem to be fine. I just haven't updated this one because it's running fine. And I've got the 160 ESC in this one. Uh, I've been running the 120s and the 80s, all which seem to be running fine. Um, so that's my basic settings on that setup. Now, the other important thing you need to do is to make sure to set the endpoints for the throttle. Uh, otherwise, the governing will not work properly for the total G to control the ESC. I'll show you that next. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to set the endpoints on your transmitter to make sure it matches what the ESC is expecting for the Castle ESC. To start doing this, first, I, right now I have my radio on, but I need to go into my transmitter and adjust my travel adjust on my throttle so that both the low and the high endpoints are at like 30%, a really low setting. I'm both down to about 30. Now, the motor was not plugged in while I was doing this. Now what I'm going to do is go to high throttle and plug the motor in, and you should hear it, it won't activate because it's seeing a high throttle, but it will it'll will know it's the high side of the curve, so you, you know you can now set it. What you do now is you stay at the high end, and you run your high throttle up till you, till you hear it beep, and I know in this one it's around 80 something. See, now the high end is set. Now I lower the throttle, and it should beep letting you know it now knows it's at low, but it's not low enough to actually activate. So now you turn the low end down, which I think on this one, I think it's around 120 something. I'll keep going to, to activate the low end. See, now the low end's set. So the high I have at 80, the low I have, at, sorry, I'm bumping the table. <laughs> the high is at 80, the low is at 120. Now the, the transmitter is set to match the numbers the ESC is expecting as the low and the high. So that's now what you should be setting uh, when you go into the total G or the ATG, you can now set your low end at this low, then you can go at a high to set your high end. I won't move it to high stick because it'll move the motor right now, but you can set your high end too. And you leave these like they are, so now the ATG knows what low throttle is and what high throttle is. After you finish setting your low and your high on your throttle curve, uh, you just have to go into the ATG or the total G and set your low and high end in the unit and then your governor's ready to go. Uh, you, you're, you've matched your throttle settings to what your governor expects. Your governing should work properly. Uh, you just have to make sure you have your sensor in the model. Uh, in mine, I actually have it mounted underneath the tail rotor gear right here. I have a sensor there and then I have a magnet in the tail gear. And that, that's set at a one to one gear ratio since your tail gear is turning at the same, the same rate as your main head, as the rotor head. You set it one to one, and then you're ready to go, either the ATG or the Total G. 
Okay, now I've got my 3D machine. In this particular 3D machine, I'm running also running a Castle 160, uh, same as same as in my FAI machine over there. Uh, I like the 120s too. I just happen to have 160s in both of these because they're working fine. Uh, this one I'm not running the Total G Governor right now. I'm actually running the uh, Castle ESC Governor, uh, and I'll show you how I have that set up real quick. Uh, looking at the Looking at the screen, uh, I've got the helicopter type. I got it in helicopter or vehicle type. Excuse me, I have a helicopter. Governor type or throttle type. I have in governor mode. Uh, I do have auto rotation enabled. I have the initial spool up rate custom at four. I have the governor gain custom at nine, and I have the head speed change rate custom at eighteen. Uh, that that's for the auto rotations when you spool back up again. I found that, that was a good a good rate. Uh, so for, I set up the motor and gearing. This is the um, ENV. I've got the uh, Scorpion 520 limited edition in it. I've got the regular main 130 tooth main gear and I've got a 13 tooth pinion. Uh, so on my gearing I'm just 10 to 1. Uh, on KV motor I'm 520. Magnetic, po uh, magnetic poles in the motor is 10 on this motor. Um, so that's okay. I also fudged the voltage a little bit. I think, well, actually, no, I didn't. This one, that's actually why it's reading. I normally fudge this a bit. Instead of 3.7 on the voltage, I usually do a custom other, and I set it like 3.9, because that's a better average, and then do OK. And then that, that gives me a little more accurate reading on what head speeds I can get. If you do 3.7, it'll usually give you an error. If you get above the, the 2000, 2100 rate, it'll say, hey, I can't run that fast, but when in fact you can, because the voltage will go that high. Uh, I have my, my hover initial below 50% at 1750, which is really slow. That's if I'm in a small area, I can hover slow. Uh, for 50 to 99, I have it uh, 2060, and then for uh, 99 and above, I had it 2083. Um, let me see, for brake, I've got all that off. Cutoffs, I have 12 volt uh, cutoff voltage, current limiting disabled, and cutoff type is soft cutoff. So like I said, I don't think that does anything. Uh, motor, I have low start power, I have low motor timing, I have direction to forward and PMW rate of 16. Other, I've disabled the beeping. Logging, I've kind of turned off all the logging. I'm not sure it affected anything, but I just turned it off. Uh, software, this has the version 3.24 beta, which seems to be working fine in this setup. Uh, that's really about it. Uh, other than that, I don't really do anything special with the governor setup. I do set the low and the high. Uh, in the travel adjust in the radio, uh, just like I described for the FAI machine earlier, just set the, the travels low at like 30, plug it in at high throttle, set, turn the high up till it beeps, go to low, turn the low down till it beeps, uh, that's your limits, and then that should be it. The governor should just work.